so I'm just building a um, little piece to um, that will go on the transom of the of the dinghy, and uh, what that'll do is I'm going to just sandwich that onto the inside of the transom, and then I'm going to put another piece. I hope you can see this another piece here and then my outboard is going to fix onto this bit so it serves a few purposes first of all <clears throat> um i've already damaged the transom on the ding it's not really designed to take an outboard uh, you need some reinforcement but secondly if i can just raise the the outboard a little bit i think it will perform a little bit better i think it's a little bit too deep and then lastly and um, i'm hoping i can also put this in the middle of the boat so this will clear um the uh the sort of metal work that i've got for the the sailing rudder so that's what i'm going to do i'm going to chop this along there i know this is five inches it's actually an inches my boat because it's so old and then this piece of wood i'm going to chop that way and stick together so um i've got a tiller extension being 3d printed now uh, I designed that on my computer using Autodesk. I'll, I'll do another video about that, but this is now printing uh, something that will slip over the tiller, the existing tiller. <clears throat> and then what I'm going to do is put um, this, this sort of uh, metal rod in one end. And then what I've got here, this is the tiller just here. I'm actually, for this side of it, I'm actually just silicon moulding. And I think that's ready now. So I'm silicon moulding um the existing grip that's on the the tiller and then what i can do with that is uh make a, a new mold um to make a, a a grip for the metal rod i've got on the end i got the uh the rubber mold out of the tiller as you remember that was on making a mold of this uh tiller handle so inside you'll see there's a nice mold of the tiller handle I'll show you this piece now. This is actually just a failed print. It hasn't printed all of all of it. But what's going to happen is this metal rod is going to go into here and it'll come a little bit further up. These holes here are designed to stop this spinning. And then this will actually just slip over there like that. So it's got really great control. And actually, I'm really pleased with that. It's just about the right, the right sort of tension. This is the... Uh, just continuing the tiller build. So I wanna, I've got a mold of the old, or the original tiller handle here. But what I figured was if I drill some holes in, in, the, in the aluminium rod, and then maybe I'm just gonna try, so let's try these ones. Uh, and I was gonna try and even put some screws in here. Yeah, you know, some uh, screws like this, then that might work so i'm just going to screw these in so anything that will just you know embed itself into the rubber that's worked quite well actually you know and we'll stop it rotating so mixing silicon is really quite easy to answer it's really good fun as well so all you need is a silicon rubber a hardener and that's actually what gives the silicon it's sort of green color, it's natural green color when it's done. And then in this case, I'm gonna actually use a dark, a black pigment because I want the handle to be black. So you use the silicon in a 10 to one. So for, you, for every 100 grams of this, you'd put 10 grams of that in, making 110 grams uh, in full. And then this, I think you need 5%. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna make it easy. I'm gonna do 100 grams of silicon which would mean, I think if we put five grams of that and then 10 grams of that, we know. And all I do is on the scales here, I zero, I zero everything down. So I don't know if the camera can, let me just see. These, this new GoPro I've got's pretty, got a screen on the front, which is amazing. It's really quite cool. So let's just see. Uh, and it doesn't have to be like mega, mega gram accurate. As long as you're, you know, you're pretty accurate, it's okay. So we're up to 50. And I think 50 will be enough. The good thing about silicon is, you know, as long as you're not, you don't hang about, you, if you're a bit short, you can always do a bit more and it knits together quite nicely. I think it actually 
I think even if even if it dries, it solidifies. I think or sets. I think, I think you can. It will still join. It's really great. It loves to stick to itself, silicon, but it doesn't much like sticking to anything else. So um, that's why you know I've I've, I've uh, you know that's what's posing the difficulty in this part of the project really. So that's a hundred grams or ninety nine. That's as close as we'll get. So let's put that away. I think what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put, I'm going to zero and I'm going to put 5% of this in or five grams of that. That's not, it's not even registering. Okay, you're going to have to scrape this off with two. I'm going to leave that there. I'm going to put that in. That's about four, it's about four grams. And then we're just gonna make sure we've got uh, 10 grams of this. We just want it to look black. So as long as we've got enough in there to look black, that's fine. Okay, so now we have gotta mix it up. So I just lost my screen there. And it doesn't take too long to do this. You can see, you can see how it's kind of, it's kind of almost like that medical green color, but actually if it's, it's turned out to be more sort of like a nice sort of dark gray, but that'll be, I mean, that's quite cool. So you've got to make sure you get scrape all along the bottom, get all the, the silicon in contact with the hardener and then scrape around the sides. And then you, the trick is, I mean, look, by rights, you're supposed to get bubbles out of it. You're supposed to have a vacuum chamber, you know, but I just don't have any of that equipment. So, you know, mix it carefully. You can then, let's just, let me just uh, pop that. I just need a spare. I normally have an old cup knocking around, but just give it a little bang. You can kind of see the bubbles coming to the surface. Hopefully it's quite difficult to see because it's so black. That gives it, and then you just, you just do that to give yourself a pouring nozzle. So I've got that nice and in the, in, you know, nice and in the center there. I don't know if you can see down there. I actually found some, some uh, old tiny little uh, I think they're 60 mil screws. So I screwed those in to give it a little bit of purchasing power. And then all we're gonna do now is stick this in uh, and try and do it. I've gone a little bit overzealous there. This is slow. With silicon and molding, slow and steady is always good. Not very me, but slow and steady is always good. I've got the, uh, the tiller handle mold here. I've got the tiller handle all uh, uh, nicely uh, connected here. And you can see I've got most of the, uh, most of the uh, silicon in, the black silicon. Uh, and I'm just gonna try and get the last little bit in here. It's really difficult because there's not much room. Anyway, there we go, I think that'll do. So hopefully this one will not only be, uh, will not only provide a really good mold but we'll be able to release it because i put a little cut in the mold there but also i'll be able to reuse the mold as well so we can make a few different uh length tillers things like that till we know what we're you know till we know what we're doing the silicon set let's have a little look you can see this is the the part we're gonna now undo so i can take the cup off now and then because i've got this little split in here i can get access and because I also use the, the Mac wax and not the dimmer flex for release agent there we go so it's not a, it's not a brilliant handle but that's a handle I just um, drilled a load of holes in here so the silicon would seep all the way through so actually it's quite nicely secured that's quite good and then the tiller sleeve uh, goes over the the, the tiller handle just like that so you can see now that when I turn this 
it's turning the in fact that works really well and obviously it extends the tiller so I'm really looking forward to giving that a go on the boat seeing how it works tomorrow so I did another uh, tiller handle for another tiller uh, extension arm you can see when you've got the release agents this just pops out really easy and I can reuse that and actually on this one you can just see the tiniest little seam but it's nothing that you wouldn't see on a normal product anyway and it's really nice really stuck tight on there and it just gives it a little bit of grip you know um, so this will if we come over here see there's my tiller uh, this is the sleeve that will go over the tiller arm or the, uh, the tiller handle sorry and then I've got a few different options here in here I've got a short and a long tiller arm so I can test both of these on the boat and then this one is like just like a little tiller arm with a kink in it like I said I'm not quite sure if this um, if this joint here is right but um, I think it, the tiller will end up sticking up a little bit but you know we'll test them all we'll get them on the boat hopefully we'll get them on the boat tomorrow and we'll uh, we'll give them a test